vlog time. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, right. Today, I'm out in the shed. It's pouring with rain. I have just launched myself off the top step of the decking, landed in the corner of a step in the small of my back, and it's very, very sore. Also, in the process of launching myself off the step, I sent my uh, my any box uh, absolutely flying in the gravel so that the paint's all scratched and chipped off of there now which just kind of blends in with the rest of the device because the paint finishes shit um, I do love using this 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 is one of my favorite little devices just now uh, I did have to take the paint off the button altogether because it was just flaking off left right and center so I'm still a week later still in the same coil and I'm still getting excellent flavour temperature control or limiting or whatever it's called and it's performing really really well uh, the V2 will be awesome um, sorry I shouldn't say that I can't actually move my arms now I'm going right here we go Jeez, it's wet, man. That was sore. That's sore. Right, I'm, I'm, um, what have I been vaping with this week? Uh, I've been vaping uh, with a lot of stuff. I put my usual pictures up on my Facebook page and uh, Instagram. Um, I was vaping with this for the past couple of days. Uh, the Aqua FX and my Fog and Sailor. Um, I have developed a bit of a love affair with this little tank. The flavour once it beds in, once it beds in, it's not great flavour straight away. Uh, is very very good, and for the money, I do think it's a a, a cracking buy. Um, very impressed with it. Uh, I'm, no, I'm not putting that back up there. That's sore. No, I'm not doing that either. Um, what else arrived this week? Also arrived this week. Well, I've had this for a. Two, three weeks? Two, three weeks? Not sure now. This thing. <laughs> My Robusto. Uh, now, this is a 32650 mod. Uh, yes, 32650. I'll show you the battery. That's the battery. It's a behemoth. It's a monster. 6000 power. Um, now, I've uh, been talking with Pascal, the guy that makes these, and the, the batteries are made by Yilong or something like that, um, and there's not a lot of technical data out there for them. Now, he's been running them down at point 0.2 and uh, having no issues. I'm down at point 0.2 on a quad coil on this uh, Asmodus RDA that I found down the back of the shed with a build that was probably a year and a half old and it was rusty and disgusting but uh, stuck it in the sonic bath and it's, it's great <laughs> um, it actually waiting it there oh, the scales are up there <laughs> Why am I recording this? I should be inside the house looking at my back to see how bad it is. Um, oh, that's so sore. That's so sore. Uh, right. Um, I won't be bending down to get that in any time, hurry. Right. With a battery in it, this weighs 480 grams. 480 grams. Um, it's, it's a monster. Strangely enough, I'm really enjoying using it. I'm really enjoying using it. Uh, there was a couple of little issues which I fed back to Pascal and, and he's, he's sorted them. He's given me updated parts and he's tweaked it, and which is, is awesome. Uh, so a review for that will be coming. Um, big shout out to Thomas. Thomas, who... 
he, he won this, this was a Vapor Giant RDA, uh, and it had my name engraved in it, and he won it in a charity raffle, and he saw that and said that he would bring it in for me, so thank you, Thomas. Um, and say hi to your dad for me. Um, I'll have to sort you something out nice. Uh, so that actually looks... Where's my calipers? Calipers are way over there. It's 32.5, but this isn't actually 32 mil in diameter. This is... This is, what is this? Jesus wept. This is 36.5 mil in diameter, this thing. Um, so it, it does look a lot better than the a 30 mil. <laughs> You'd get arrested for possessing a weapon with that. Um, right, what else has been on the go? Um, I got my da, production Narda, um, which is still in here. I've not built it yet. I've just been cooing over it. Um, for those of you that don't know, I've had the, the prototype Narda pre-production one for weeks and weeks and weeks, and it appears in nearly all my photos, and, and I've harped on about it, and, and it really is a most excellent dripper. It's round here somewhere. Hang on. We'll spin round the back here. What have I done with it? This isn't good. I might actually have to stop recording here and go and cry. Um, so there's my, my little Narda on there. Now see, that's a bad assumption in my I've got a terrible habit of picking up an arty and just slamping it on and going for a vape. One of these days I'm going to get the dry hit from hell. Uh, we were out at uh, a little vape meet from a forum, I think I told you about it. And Chaz, the guy I work beside, he went to the toilet and he left his dripper. Um, so, of course, what we did is uh, we vaped it dry and put it back so that he'd come back up and get a dry hit, which I thought was really funny probably a bit immature, but I thought it would be really funny. Um, and he came back, and the first thing he did was he took the top cap off and looked at it. I never do that. I never do that. But maybe that's just Chaz. He's a bit, uh, he's a bit wily. Uh, he, he's no daft. Um, so, <laughs> where was I going there? I'm blinded here. Um, oh, I want to put a shout out to Nigel, SVB Nigel. Because uh, he keeps posting photos of tools and working in mods and things like that. So I bought these um, because because they were tools and I, and I saw them in a picture and I thought, Ooh, I really need a, a needle file set. Do I get the diamond or do I get the carbon steel? Let's get both. And I'll probably not use them for about another six months because that's how long it's going to take for me to get round to finishing my DNA 200 box. Um, I have been vaping with m m m Muffin Man this week. <laughs> um, and I will get through that bot. I mean, look, I've hardly t dented it. Um, I can't vape it all the time. It's just 180 mils. And I, it's too much. Um... I've also been vaping, I've finished off another two bottles of Grants, so I'm on to my next 100ml of Grants, uh, and congratulations to everybody that managed to bag some uh, yesterday. Um, let's quickly talk about other stuff so I can finish this vlog. I've just received an email from Kai, from Ezig, Germany, and apparently they've got a Russian V3 coming. Um, so I'll be, I think I'm going to agree to review that because it's a top fill RTA. It does have a bit of the gem going on about it, uh, it looks wise, but it's dual or single coil. Um, so I'll, I'll still have to reply to his email, but uh, I'll, I'll try and bag that. Um, 
what else? Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this. Uh, Peg from Pegasus Vape Academy or whatever it is. I'll be getting a reviewer's pack of batteries soon. Um, she's selling, but it's batteries that is rewrapped batteries, but it's he's categorized the batteries that he's rewrapped. So it, it, it's, I think I mentioned this, um, type A, type B, type C, type D, type E, you know, uh, type A is 10 amps, type E is 30 amps, and it tells you, it's clearly written in all the batteries, how you should be using them and what device you should be using them for, which I think is a, is a bloody great idea. I really like the idea of this, um, you know, for people that don't hang about in forums and Facebook and things like that, you know, people that have a life, basically, um, you know, and they want to buy a battery, they're not sure what to get, they're not 100% sure about their Ohm's law and stuff like that, they can go and pick up these batteries and it tells you recommended wattage ranges for the battery, recommended resistant ranges, resistance ranges, I think that's really good. Um, I think that's just a good idea. Yes, they're rewraps. Uh, they're not brand new batteries just from a brand new factory, but it's a, I think it's a clever idea. I think it's a clever idea. So they should be arriving. Um, I got an email from, who's this? Um, Jan Rolt. Um, who's, I couldn't find any reviews on bottom feeder atomizers on my site. Could you please indicate the reviews you made so that I can watch them? Um, you've got, I mean, it depends. Do you want 16 mil, 14 mil, 22 mil uh, bottom fed atomizers? There are so many in the market now. Once they so many. I mean, you've got ones like the Narda that has a bottom feed conversion kit, the Vortis, uh, you've got the, the Snapdragon, that's, I've not tried it, but you've got the Snapdragon bottom feeder conversion, um, you've got Nuppins, you've got Trolls, Freak Shows, there's so many out there now. Um, just because it's a bottom feeder doesn't make the, the dripper any better. You're still going to get the same vape from it so a lot of these bottom fed rdas will just vape the same as you see in the normal reviews so it's just that they have juice can come from the bottom so i do have plenty of videos out there just i'd go and watch them um excuse me a second <laughs> um i'm such a wuss uh, oh, um, the G-Prov, which is behind me, uh, and I did the review for the G-Prov Squonker. Now, in the review, I did state that I would have preferred it if the G-Prov had been engraved rather than what I had in mind. Well, the production ones are engraved, uh, which is a good thing in my book. Also, I've seen a few pictures of the doors uh, on finished ones a lot lot better than the one i got now listen i georgius i i think's excellent i think he's a great bloke um and and i would love to you know just say nothing but good things about the device he sent me but i as with all things i have to review what i have in my hand it's as simple as that uh i can't just make out that you know that thing is brilliant when it's not. That's just reviewing. Uh, I also want to put a shout out to Focal Esig, uh, a shower of panty hamsters. Yes, you are. You know you are. Um, I ordered two, three weeks ago a 60 Kang Exxon Inoi 60 watt temperature control squonker box mod in silver uh, which was in stock and I ordered it I received no confirmation emails just a PayPal confirmation that was it I left it for a couple of weeks and I contacted them and they replied to say sorry but uh, they're not in stock 
basically said, well, when I bought it, it was in stock. Um, and correspondence went backwards and forwards, and I got a refund. So, uh, Focal eSig, um, if you're going to sell stuff, make sure it says it's out of stock if it's out of stock. And there was a lot of emails uh, from other people saying they've had the same issues, so there you go. Um, which is a shame because it was a £25 squonker 60 watt temperature control. Uh, it was nothing gorgeous, fancy, amazing, but it, it looked really cool. And for £25, that's really, really good. Uh, really good. That's a good, cheap way to get into squonking. Um, I also want to put a shout out to, in the shop next door to me, there's a lovely lass called Rebecca, uh, who's just had baby George not so long ago. So this is a shout out to Graham, who is off work just now, our partner, and he's been watching my videos because he's a saddle and he's bored. So he's been watching some of my videos uh, and I'm only kidding. Um, no, congrats again, guys, and uh, baby George is gorgeous. Uh, that's that on 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 there. Uh, what's next on the list? Um, I've done that. I've done that. Uh, I told you about Peg. Um, thank you to Michael, Michael Adams, my truck driver friend. Builds these mods in his truck. Uh, he sent me on the DNA two hundred template, which I need for drilling the holes out in my mod. So you sent me that one, which was very helpful. Thank you, buddy. Um, right. I'm just in so much pain here. I, I'm going to go into the house and lie down and cry, I think. Um, I have noth actually nothing else to tell you. Um, oh, no. This 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 will be getting reviewed. If I can, well, I'm <laughs> just so <laughs> my camera's moved. Um, the Vanguard. I've got to stop calling it the Asgard. Um, I, I keep every time I type in, I take a photo of it in Instagram, and I go to type it in, I put in Asgard. I don't know. I'm just there. Uh, what was Asgard again? Was that 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 was the um, that was the wee aliens from Stargate. Was it not? Were they not called as guardians? I can't remember now. I'm sure it was. Um, anyway, so this was... Um, I got this from the lovely girls at uh, Juicy Vaporium, and I have been using this a lot. It's a triple 18650 mechanical, and it's been performing flawlessly. Uh, the only issue I have with it is the button is a little bit... I can't, I'm okay with it now, but it does require a bit of a firm press on it. Um, but a review for that will be coming very soon. Um, I, that's it. I've got to go. Uh, no, I'm not going to go yet. Right here at this point here, I'm going to put in a quick video looking at the Smiley Face RDA. So here you go. You can watch this now. So here we go. Little Smiley Dripper. Chess Atomizer by Mad Madotech. Awesome name for an awesome little dripper. Right, we'll make this short and sweet. Um, in the box, you get your usual O-rings. You get, I actually get a couple of little um, coils pre-made there as well, so you can just chuck them in and go. I did not use them, I must admit. Spares there galore. There we go. Here's a green splattered one. <laughs> Look at the face. Uh, Right, and you get a 510, a Dell and 510 adapter in here as well. And, and, and it's totally nuts. It is totally nuts. I mean, obviously this is the green splatter one. I'll show you the one I've been using in a minute. But it comes with this big wide bore drip tip in the top. I mean, that's about 13 mil in diameter. I mean, using that, the whole thing size-wise is 42 millimeters. That's not including the 510. And you've got your 510 down there. It looks like it's plated as well. Uh, and it does have a serial number on it. Yeah, you can pull this off, blink, slap on your 510 adapter if you want. Not had any issues with any drip tips whatsoever. Now, as far as airflow goes on this thing, right, you've got your little happy face up here, okay? And if I just 
I pull that out, you'll see you've got this prong thing going on here, and there's a couple of settings with this. So that's for adjusting the airflow for going directly at the coil, you know, side onto the coil. So you can just slot this back in, like there, and you can see I can spin it round, and I can have it partial airflow on either side, or I can spin it round again, and this is really weird, because in this one, it's it's leaving quite a, a, a gap on either side. That's a bit of inconsistency. Uh, you, you can see there that it's still leaving a big gap. Um, these four prongs are all the same size, whereas on my other one, they're not. I'll show you that in a second. Um, and you've also got adjustable airflow down the bottom here as well. You can have it so that the air's coming up from underneath the coil. On, on this one, my stainless steel one, see how the wee face is closed off almost altogether. If I spin this round, then I've got that. That's that's the same as the, the green splattered one. But if I spin it round again, you know, it almost closes the, the side airflow off altogether. So those two devices are completely different, which is very, very strange. You are basically looking at almost like a beefed up... Uh, Freak show, mini freak show, um, and I've lost a screw. I wondered what that was that went flying across the shed floor. And these terminals are uh, three mil in size. I mean, they're huge, and I've had no issues with it. You know, snapping wires, screwing this down, or anything like that. I mean, the holes here. I mean, it's like six mil in diameter, so you get a lot of air coming up underneath here. You've got a six mil deep uh, drip well in here as well, and it's. It should be 22 millimetres in diameter, but it's not, it's just over. It's almost like 22.3 or something like that. So it, it looks okay in a 22 mil mod, but it's just a tiny little bit bigger than a 22 mil. This is how I've been running it. Uh, bit of a gunky old coil here. But uh, the thing I need to point out to you is that you need to make sure that that coil is pushed back it can't sit right out over the the air holes here uh, because when you put this on you think ah oh, that's awesome but then when you push this in sorry going out of focus there it narrows it down inside so the actual prongs there were making contact with the coils so if you do get it make sure that you know you, you push the coils in uh. now that little dripper gives off an awesome vape, it really does. I, I bullshit you not. I mean, it's on par with like the mini freak or the freak show. Uh, it's on par with the freak show. Um, I see the only issues I, I really had with it was the you know, you had to make sure the coils were closer in than you would normally have thought because when you put the top turret in, uh, it was making contact with the coils. Um, it costs buttons. Or I don't know where you can get it in the UK. I've not actually checked. I mean, you can see it in Ali Bali land and all the rest of it. Uh, all your usual Chinese sellers are throwing them at you for 10 bucks. Um, so if you fancy something that's going to make you smile every time you look at it, and uh, which actually vapes for the money. No, never mind the fact for the money. Which actually vapes well um yeah it's not bad at all it's not bad i certainly um it's not shit i do want to point out that um this this is the oh you put juice in this um the gem now the the gem by mark bugs uh this is a a prototype uh, this will probably probably be the V2 um, and I may be wrong here I may not be a hundred percent correct but um, I think it's going to be the V2 and I think you will be able to buy the V2 or if you have a V1 you'll be able to buy upgraded parts to make it like this um, I have no idea when it's going to be released pricing or anything like that I'm just I've been getting to play with it, so I thought I would let you know what's coming from them down the line, and they they were cool with me letting you know that. Um, 
Now, for me, the major things is it's got a, I think this is about a 5 by 2 mil, 5 by 2 or 5 by 3 mil air hole on the side now. And even the center hole under the coil is about 4 to 5 mil. It's, it's, it's big. So, lots of air. Um, so that, that's the big thing, the ear. And I did say I was going to show you this up close, uh, but uh, I can't today, because I can't reach the camera. Um, that's really it. I've, I've, not got, I've not even got much coming up for review. Um, I'm kind of quiet just now, which, is, which suits me fine. Sorry, I should have paused that video there, but I'll just leave that in. Um, I'll tell you what I did watch, um, what's been going on on YouTube land. Uh, this week I have been mostly been watching what I really enjoyed. And a big shout out to the, the four guys. Uh, the Ideal Ohm show that uh, just viewed the very first episode showed up on Thursday night there at 9 o'clock. Uh, the Brown Pants episode. Um do you know, congratulations to the guys for a, for a first show. I mean, that's they've had 1,500 views on the YouTube. I think they said there was about 250, 300 people uh, in and out of the show itself when it was live. And th they've already got 589 subscribers. Shout of Bampots. It, on one video, they have 589 subscribers. It took me more than a year to get that many subscribers gets um i did really enjoy the format i mean to be honest it, let's face it it was the plumes of hazard in a language we could understand um same kind of format different guys different chemistry and and i think the the you know the banter will get better as the shows go on it was but for a first show i thought it was really good um, my only thing is that I would, you know, as long as they keep it spread across the, the whole vaping spectrum and it doesn't just become laddie da stuff, that would be my only concern. Uh, it says me that reviews pretty much laddie da gear all the time. Hypocrite. Uh, but, th but that would be my only thing. I, I'd like to, and they've said this in the comments already, you know, that they're going to look at everything in the vaping world, which I think it'll make it appeal to lots of people lots of people and it's good not having to stay up and watch uh, the plumes at two o'clock in the morning um so there you go yeah uh so if you haven't seen it go and watch it on youtube a uh, big shout out to the guys um i've not i've not been watching much i know there's a serious update by obs is out now um I watched Dean's review of the knee box, um, which is really funny because uh, it's the bit at the end, the vaping biker, you know, when I, when I say, you know, when I vape in this, I'm going, it's a full on cloud chaser and I'm blowing clouds. Then I watch Dean, the vaping biker's, biker's review and he says, yeah, you can blow some cloudage with it. It's not a full on cloud chaser. I'm like, what? Different styles of vaping. People are so different. Um, and and that's it. That's all. I've really not been watching much of anything. Um, now, now, no, didn't watch any of that. Didn't watch any of that. Yes, I I will admit I have not been watching much in the way of reviews. I've been doing other things recently. Something else I've forgotten about that uh, I am recording after recording my vlog and inserting. Um, I'm going to a vape meet. Hurrah! Uh, the the guys I work for that own the vapor lounge and the I work at um, are going over to Vape Fest in Ireland next weekend, and they asked me if I wanted to tag along, and uh, I thought, what the hell? Let's do it. Let's go for it. Um, never ever been to something like this. Um, 
wanted to avoid things like this, like the plague, mainly because of um, up here, um, social anxiety, things like that, um, and and that's why I've avoided stuff like this for for since I started the reviews. Uh, I've bored people to death about this in the past, but uh, I'm either coming out my shell in my old age, or I'm just I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to go. Um, so, if you go to Vape Fest in Ireland uh, next weekend, and um, you come up and say, "All right, you fat fanny," and and, and I just kind of like go, <laughs> uh, "Don't worry about it." It's just me a bit overwhelmed with being out in public uh, around lots of other vapors. It's nothing personal. I'm just nervous. That's all. Uh, and you don't have to call me a fat fanny. Okay? That that was an option. So, just hi Todd will do. Not hi Todd, you fat fanny. Anyway, um, on with the show. On that note, I'm going to go because it's it's oh, it's disgusting out there. It's just pissing down. Um, so, on that note, I'm sorry for my my whinging and moaning and oh my back. Um, gay. Um, I, I'm just yes. I'm old and I'm fragile and uh, but I'm sorry that you had to listen to me and. Um, I'll go now. I will go. There's probably something important I should tell you, but um, hey ho. Have a lovely weekend. Or a lovely week, depending on when this gets uploaded. And, and I promise normal service shall be resumed next week. I hope. Bye bye. <laughs>